Hey y'all, welcome back to Make It Dairy Free. I am Larisha and today we are talking about the childhood favorite tater tot casserole. Okay, so not gonna lie, it is one of my favorite dishes too. No shame, no judging here, but there is something about potatoes and the shape of little tater tots that just make me happy. It's also a guaranteed way for us to get our kids to eat something. You mix a few ingredients together, you put tater tots on top of it, and bam, you have an instant kid-friendly meal. So today we're basically gonna be showing you a Tex-Mex version, or it's essentially a taco version of tater tot casserole. We love this dish because we literally make it in our largest cast iron skillet, so it's literally just one pan to clean up, which is absolutely amazing when you're the one who does the dishes. And no worries though, if you don't have that, you can use any oven safe dish, or if you don't have that, we can just transfer everything into a casserole dish after you've made it in the skillet. It's only about 10 minutes of prep time and the rest of it is cooking time, so it is easy peasy and we are sure you're gonna love it. So let's show you exactly how to make it right now. Let's go. The very first thing that we're going to do is make our vegan nacho cheese sauce. We already have a complete video on this that we will link in the description for you to watch, but basically it's the best vegan nacho cheese and we aren't saying that because it's ours and we're biased. Seriously, it's so, so good. We use butter beans as a base and there's no nuts, potatoes, or carrots in this at all. All you do is add all your ingredients into a high powered blender and blend until smooth. If you don't have one, no worries. You can use a food processor or even make it on the stove. Check out the post for all the details. The end result is a creamy, rich, smooth, vegan nacho cheese sauce and you'll even have leftovers. No need to share. Once you have that done, set it aside and we're going to pulse some walnuts that we've let soak in boiling water for at least 30 minutes. Alternatively, you could do this overnight in the fridge. If you are allergic to nuts, then you can swap out for some meatless crumbles or tofu. The post has the details for swaps. In a large skillet, we are using a 12 inch cast iron. Add some oil or vegetable stock if you're oil free and add in your onions and peppers. Let it saute for a few minutes and then in with your garlic for one minute more. Add your taco seasoning, stir, and let cook for a minute. This helps to get those flavors building early. Then add in those walnut crumbles and your tomatoes and chilies. If you want a little less of a kick, you could totally just go for a can of fire roasted tomatoes instead and add in your lime. Give that a stir and then you are going to let this cook, stirring occasionally for about 10 minutes. As it cooks, it will darken in color. If at any time you feel like it's sticking to your pan, you can lower the heat a bit or add another splash of oil or stock. Add in your black beans and corn and then some of that vegan nacho cheese sauce that you made. Stir this really well together and make sure that the sauce is well mixed into the dish. If you are using an oven safe pan like we are, then you are just going to flatten this out into one even layer. If you aren't using an oven safe skillet, then transfer the mixture into a nine by 13 casserole dish. Now it's my favorite part. Grab all those frozen tater tots and layer them across the top of your mixture. Try to keep them as close as possible to get as many on there as you can. I mean, don't waste any space if that means more tater tots. Come on now guys. Once you have all of your tater tots on there, we are going to add on some vegan cheese. We are using vegan mozzarella shreds here, but you could do vegan cheddar or you could even do some nutritional yeast if you want to keep it less processed. Other ideas would be to use some shredded vegan pepper jack to make it a bit spicier or if you want, you can omit and just use some more of that leftover nacho cheese once it's cooked. Put it into the oven and bake for about 35 minutes and then it's ready to serve. You can top this with the remaining nacho cheese or any of your favorite taco toppings like salsa, guacamole, vegan sour cream, jalapenos, green onions, and more. Thanks so much for watching. We hope that you love this dinner idea and that it's a hit for everyone. When you make this, we'd love if you could tag us on Instagram so we can share. If you haven't yet, please subscribe so you don't miss another video and give this video a like. Check out our other dinner ideas for even more inspiration. Head to the comments and let us know what you think so we can continue this conversation. Have a great day and remember to smile. Yeah, yeah.